Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Real Games, and in today's video, I'm going to be counting down the top three worst Roblox block type human farms, in my opinion. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, in number three spot, in my, in my opinion, the worst farms is the coal farm. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to say, especially with the new update. Oh, you can use them for the iron farms yes you can and the iron farm is great but a coal farm the coal mine on its own isn't great isn't good so let me explain why so first of all um each one takes about 10 seconds i'm pretty sure let's check uh where are they yep so it takes 12 seconds to get between one and four coal and that costs fifty thousand. so one it, it's kind of expensive for like the return on investment you get so, you know, doing a simple build like this where you've got two layers, it's going to cost you, what, 300,000? And you're going to be making at most, like, how much does one coal sell for? We can check. At most, 2,000 every, or like, what, 8, 12,000 every 12 seconds at most again? Maybe a bit more, I'm not sure, but around 10 to 20,000, I'll say. It's a rough estimate. So, you know, it's not great with the in with, like return. It takes too long. If you want this to be quick, efficient, you're going to need tons of coal mines. And that's just going to cost you so much. Especially, you know, with the coal refiners. Like, I was checking on the coal to make. And the coal ore to coal. Yes, it costs 1.8k for the coal to sell. But the coal ore is 900 so if you didn't have these, like I have five right here, and each one costs 150k. So this build just costs a lot of money for something that in return you're not going to get that much from. Or it's going to take you way too long to actually make your money back. And if you like enough about like making money back, it's going to take you a long time to actually get to the next progressive stage, the next farm. So that's why it's number three. And yeah, let's get straight into number two. All right, so coming in a number two spot is, it's a farm that I actually like, but it is the Aquastone farm. Now, a lot of you may be confused by this because yes, again, like I said, I do like this farm. It's really good. I like the design. I like the way it's just, you know, everything's built. It, it just looks good. Um, but there's a couple of reasons why it is in the top three worst farms and I'll get straight into them. The first thing is, when I'm playing this to like rebirth and like actually progress, I don't actually build Aquastone farms. There's a couple farms that I don't really build when I'm progressing and like rebirthing. And this is one of them because it never comes to my mind. By the time that I've got the wheat farm, I I am am either going to go for the mushroom farm after. And then usually if I do go for the mushroom farm, I go straight to the apple farm. Like, yeah. Especially with the mushroom farm being like, it gives you more. So if you didn't know, when you do the mushroom farm and you start mining mushrooms, you have a chance to mine a mushroom cluster, which is these things here. I'll see if it can actually uh, find one. Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, when, when mushrooms start to form, especially like here and here, you have a chance to actually mine a mushroom cluster. And the mushroom clusters, I'll see if I have any spare on me actually. Yeah, okay. So the mushroom clusters are the ones that actually spawn the mushrooms. So it's basically just giving you another free farm without actually having to buy one. So for the Aquastone farms like this, if I can get back up. Yeah, nothing's like spawning that benefits you massively. So you have to buy each individual like Aquastone catcher and each one type of leave uh, 250 million. But with this, you can buy one mushroom farm for 100 million and you're already set to go, you know, build more. AFK it for like 20, 30 minutes and you're going to be set. So yeah, that is why Aquastone farms are in the number two spot for the worst farm. But let's see, in my opinion, what is in the number one spot. Alright, so in first place for the, in my opinion, worst farms in Brobox Block Tycoon is the tree farm. 
Now, again, this build itself is great. Tree farms are amazing to build. But there's reasons why I have it in this list and I will explain them now. So the first reason is I just don't build them. Similar to the Aquasome farm, I don't build these when I'm progressing or rebirthing because it never comes to my mind. By the time I've finished the cobblestone farm that I want to build, the one that goes like lengthways, and the by the time that I've actually bought all the upgrades for it, I just don't see the need for a tree farm. Because by the time that I've finished it, I'll be making like between 100 to like 250,000 every like 10 minutes, maybe like every five minutes. So buying a tree farm after that, it, it just isn't useful to me, if you get what I mean. And the second reason is if I were to make a tree farm, the progressions, so like I said before in the best tree video or the best farm videos, the wheat seed or like the wheat farm, you can go from the wheat seeds to the carrot seeds, to the pineapple seeds, and it actually gives you some benefit that actually progresses you a lot. Whereas this, if I went from the oak seed to or the oak, like oak sapling to the ghost gum to pine to palm, it, it just doesn't give you a lot of money in return. I'd be spending, for this farm especially, there's probably what, like 8 to 10 rows on each row. So we're looking at about 60 saplings. And if I was to buy 60 palm tree saplings, it's going to cost me a pretty penny. Like there's 30 and it, it's going to cost me a, a, around $2.8 million to buy enough saplings to fix this farm or to fill this farm up which on return if i was to i know there's no upgrades on this farm i understand but if i was to do this like yes it gets you a lot of money but like if i was to turn off is there any more farm going that's the cobblestone farm so let's just let's just turn this farm off and let's see how how much is actually made us Is anything selling in here let's just double check yes it is okay so this is where most of the cash per second is going to come from so again it's tp home that should be every farm destroyed is that this one or is this just going into yeah okay that's fine so we should have got rid of every farm and as you can see we're making about a thousand dollars a second which compared to if i was the keep my cobblestone farm going we'll turn this from a thousand dollars a second and like i said i know i haven't got all the upgrades for it but it's just especially the upgrades as well that's one of the reasons why i don't like this farm is because you've got to buy the wood cutter then double the money and get the wood stair maker another 10k the wood slab another 10k the fence and even then it's like at most getting you I didn't even see these, but these are pretty cool. But yeah, the like, but if you were to get this anyway, it's 600k for the devil stuff, and the devil stuff costs four billion dollars. So again, not worth it. But if I was to get the palm trees, it's 120 dollars per. So I'd be making maybe at most 5k. Whereas if I was to just, you know, add this cobblestone farm, I'm gonna see a rise in money. And like this farm's not big at all. This is three farms going, and I've already made like 10% of what the tree farm makes me on a budget that's probably about 10, 15, 20 times less. So, again, with all these farms, I don't recommend you not make them because, yes, they will be beneficial to some people. But for me personally, if I'm trying to rank up, if I'm trying to rebirth, not rank up, I will tend to not use these farms as much if at all but it doesn't mean don't make them if you enjoy the build if you enjoy making it if it gets you money if it makes you hella bank then just go for it i don't know why i said that but yeah go for it i'm not trying to like push people away from these farms but i just these are what farms that i don't use or what i would pass as the worst farms in my personal opinion but hey if you have a different opinion and you have a different top three list or like top three worst list, then let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and where you would, if you even if you want to try and battle me or challenge me for it, I'd love to 
hear your thoughts on them. But if you did enjoy this video, if you found it informative, please be sure to consider liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.